I'm gonna show you what it's like to have a healthy, productive environment for yourself. Yes! And how I set up my apartment so that way I can live the healthiest life possible. I'm gonna start in the bedroom. This is actually a June Homes apartment so that it's fully furnished when you come in. They provide the bed, the living room, and all that entire space. And what I have to bring is just my luggage, clothes, and anything else, necessities I need. So if you are planning to use June Homes, I'll leave my referral link down below. So they have a pretty easy, convenient process for moving to any major city. So that I do like about June Homes, and this will be kind of like a June Homes review as well. The very first thing is obviously the mattress and the bed, and sleep is, is what I think is the number one most important thing in life. You gotta sleep well. What I do have is a nice Uller Chili Sleep right here, and the pad is connected over here on this side, but it is currently disconnected because we have the best and the greatest thing of all that I need to open up, and that is the eight sleep. So I'm actually gonna switch out and put an eight sleep pod pro max on top of this mattress and that's where I'm going to sleep because that is the ultimo. One thing that is critical is I try to get one of these covers to prevent bed bugs, fluids, dust mites, and bacteria because you really don't want that in your mattress. So I'm gonna cover that pod pro max with that. If you wanna see that video, make sure to subscribe. And that's the cooling device right there. And I also have another chili blanket, weighted blanket that I'm gonna test over here. Get medication, you gotta stay healthy. Capsule is the greatest pharmacy that I've seen here in New York. And finally, this is from Future. They have their own special tape. And this is a personal trainer that I have because you gotta stay healthy. Next up, we've got these devices, right? I turned all these fans off. You saw that in the beginning of the video. The first one is an air purifier. Make sure to get a good quality one. Blue Air and Koei have really good air purifiers. And next to it, I do have an air quality monitor. This is by Aware, and this allows me to see the air quality in my environment. As you can see, the CO2, the humidity, and volatile organic compounds are a little high because there's some cleaning that was done as well. So VSC is high and humidity is high because I turned off the dehumidifier, which brings me to this device, which is a dehumidifier. I did have mold in my apartment in the AC and I had a allergic response to it, trouble breathing. I had to go to multiple doctors to figure out what it was. I looked in my AC, there was black mold in the AC. Luckily, June Homes replaced the AC within a couple days, but I noticed some of the other rooms still have it. So working through trying to get that fixed so I can breathe normally. But the biggest thing to prevent mold one, you want to test for it. I just bought something off Home Depot and Amazon. You can do that. The second thing is a dehumidifier. You want to make sure the humidity is not too high as well as there's not a lot of dust in the air because those two things can help create mold. So I try to keep the temperature at a decent solid temperature using the air conditioner. And then I use the air filter to keep the particulate matter levels low. And then I use a dehumidifier to keep humidity levels low. And it feels so good when I come home when it's humid and hot outside and going to bed at a nice 68 degrees Fahrenheit, as well as not sweating in my bed, is just the best thing ever. And now next to my bed, we do have a nightstand. Over here, what I propped up in this nightstand is a couple of things. We have a eye mask. This is the Montes eye mask. So far, I'm liking it. There's some things I don't love about it, but it is good, use an eye mask. The next thing is my dream headband. This I used to track, it's an EEG. I've worn this for over a year and a half now to track my sleep stages. Next, I've got my blue light blocking glasses. This is really neat and so far it's shown to help me fall asleep much faster. Next to that, I have my bio strap charger, just another wearable I'm testing. My MagSafe Duo because convenience is key. You just wanna charge this stuff, put it down, forget about it and leave it alone. And then another device I'm testing over here is the Cove. I used this before bed. Hopefully it's improved my sleep. Portable Sonos speaker because if I wanna play music here in the bathroom or anywhere else in the apartment, honestly, music can change how you feel, how you think and it's good to have a good speaker. It also has like a voice assistant built in Alexa or Google Home, but I have not used that yet. And then down here, we have what I like to call a fire hazard. Uh, just in case if this does catch on flames, I make sure it's next to my pillow so that way I die quickly and not have to endure a lot of pain. Over here is a bunch of junk, another air, air monitoring device that is portable and I rarely use, as well as a whole bunch of wires and cables. Over here is a 72 terabyte hard drive RAID system that I have not unplugged, but it is full with like 40 terabytes of video content that I need to probably delete. What I also have is two yoga mats right here, a cork yoga mat and a Lululemon mat. Cork, Lulu, hot yoga, regular yoga, because as a sweaty male, you need to make sure that you have a yoga mat for sweaty hotness, and that is cork. Back here, we've got our travel stuff, you know, our away suitcases, I've got one towel, my clothes, my minimalist all black wardrobe, 
whole bunch of jackets and junk that I need to clear out and be a little more minimalist. I got a workout bag that I never use, water bottles that I need to give away. And make sure to have my favorite hydration salts right here. There's extra storage up here, but that's about it. If you want to see kind of how big this apartment looks, this is the space of it. We've got the mattress there, window with an AC, put laundry basket up there, full length mirror, desk right here, the eight sleep pods and a whole bunch of boxes for things that need to open, a door to the other bedroom and door to the outside. And we have one light. Speaking of the desk, so this is kind of like a mini semi workstation. I try to work at WeWork and not really here, but when I do use this, we do have our laptop here with work stuff, my social media phone, this stuff. It works, but it tastes like. I have a Juve red light that I'm also testing, you know, for regeneration of skin and recovery. A Lark water bottle. This is just has a UVC light on the top and it's supposed to clean your water bottle. Who knows if it actually does, but it doesn't clean the cap. It cleans everything in the inside of the water from bacteria, but not actual particles. We got a lens, brilliant cup because, you know, I'm brilliant. A deodorant, lenses, my supplements, you know, we've got our proper magnesium, vitamin E, bananas to remind myself that food is more important than supplements. AirPods, Flex, medication, iPad, light. A chair, ideally this would be ergonomic and this would be a standing desk, but luckily I don't have that. So sadly, that is one thing I need to upgrade. Over here, we have another physical recovery device. This is the Theragun Pro. Currently it supports as a great little device to actually keep this cable in place because if I lift it up, my AC will turn off. I <laughs> make sure to leave the Theragun right there so I can keep the AC on. It's a very, very expensive heavyweight. And actually we have a Theragun Mini in that box that I need to open, wow. But that is the New York City apartment. I'm just kidding. We still have the kitchen and the hallway, but this is a very small New York City apartment. We do have a window with mediocre views. What's nice is you get to look at this luxury apartment right outside and say, damn, their lives over there are way better. <laughs> Those are some luxury apartments with a nice rooftop. That's what I gotta deal with, you know? Great, <laughs> lit. I do have some more desk supplies, right? If you wanna work at WeWork and be ergonomic, you need to have desk supplies. Make sure you have a keyboard and mouse and a lifter for your laptop. Now, let's go into the main area. So we've got some bedrooms here. This is hands down the nicest bedroom in the apartment. You get views right there, views right there, and views right there. Like, wow, damn, that is freaking nice. But I, I live in the one next to it. We've got four bedrooms, one bathroom. This is the New York City bathroom right over here. What's nice is they just cleaned it. So it looks cleaner than the B-roll shots, but we have a sink and obviously the June Homes branded. Nice toilet, a shower with a little thing, not sure what that's for. This was so dirty, we cleaned it all. Nice views, you can say hello to your neighbor while you're showering. And I had to get that installed because we didn't have anything to hold our toilet paper. And look at that, look at this. This is so much cleaner than it was before. Everyone just moved out and the three other roommates have not moved in yet. So I just cleaned it as much as I possibly could, as well as the person who helps clean this place. So thank you June Homes for finally doing that. And then we come into the living room area. Check this out, this is the living room. We've got a nice couch that can fit two to three people, a little fireplace behind it, a little desk area up there, as well as a coffee table. I'm not really sure what this thing is for, but maybe breakfast in bed, but who uses that? We've got a TV here, I connected a HomePod to the Apple TV that lives inside of there. We've got Apple TV and our router, our modem, and it's really nice just to watch YouTube videos here. And I can control the entire TV with my phone using the Apple TV remote app. I can change the volume on the Siri HomePod, which plays the audio from the actual Apple TV. And then whatever I'm seeing is on the TV, which is super nice. And I can turn the TV on and off using my iPhone. That is like next level stuff. HDMI arc, look it up. We got hella plants, as you can tell. They never really clean these. There's just dust everywhere. So that's kind of disappointing. Not good for your health and your breathing. So really make sure you're cleaning your apartment, keeping dust out using an air filter. And once again, we got an AC in here. Ideally, I would also have a dehumidifier, but this is not my place. And I'll be moving out in like six months. So finally, we got the kitchen. Look at this, this is cleaned up to the max. We've got white cloth, not mine, but this right here is my pre-workout, liking it right now. And you know me, you gotta have your Soylent, your Huel, as well as more Huel and other pre-workouts and maca. And if you check out the fridge, we've cleaned that sucker up. Look at that, 
that is now so much cleaner. We got more fuel because that's how I live, as well as the things I like to eat, which is not a lot of things right over there. And the freezer, oh my, this used to be full to the max, as you can see in the B-roll shots, but they cleaned it up, like I'm impressed. It wasn't like that when I moved in two months ago, but three people moved out and three new people, so it really helped to figure out what to do. Healthy kitchen, you gotta eat real food, right? Shervin doesn't eat real food, but I'm working on it, so we do have a little kitchen here, trash and supplies, and I'm working on it, okay? I will be eating real food hopefully soon. What's, what you also need to do is make sure that you clean your vacuum of dust. Our vacuum has a lot of dust, so I don't think that really helps with getting dust mites off of the floor, but that's okay. Over here, we also have amazing views of the Empire State Building. Look at that, that is freaking cool. I would just wish there was like a dining table where you could like sit and eat from here and actually see the Empire State. Maybe I can eat on those boxes in. We have this freaking AC box. We need to get rid of that. Maybe like dump it. Biggest things when it comes to being healthy in the kitchen. Eat real food and don't drink powdered food like me. Eat real food. That's why I got an apple right here to remind myself. Real food is good. Alcohol is extremely bad for you. Use a sleep track. You'll understand why. The less frozen and processed food that you can eat, the better your life. You'll just feel better and look better and be better. When it comes to the living room, being healthy, minimizing friction, or maximizing friction to the things that uh, can make you lazy, like watching way too much TV. You know, everything in moderation is okay. I always have been against couches, but it's good to relax, rest and restore, use your weekends, your time off to just chill. So it's always good to have one of those. If this was my apartment, I would not. The biggest things I would say is you wanna have a good place to sleep, right? Good air quality, particulate matter, temperature, humidity, a very comfortable bed that meets your needs and your needs are different than everyone else's needs. I like to be cool. And lastly, a desk that is ergonomic. Where you spend your time is where your money should go. So if you're hunched over, you're gonna have back problems, back pain. Make sure you really invest money where you spend your time.